Hey, it's a Friday morning, and I'm glad that you're here today. This morning, I want to begin in Psalm 94, verses 16 and 17, say this. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will take a stand for me against evildoers? Unless the Lord has given me help, I would have dwelt in the silence of death. This, of course, is the Friday before Thanksgiving, a good time for us to begin thinking our hearts toward gratitude. So would you join me in prayer today? as we do. Heavenly Father, we're thankful that you walk with us. It's true that if you weren't with us, we'd be destroyed. If you weren't with us, our lives would be a mess. And God, today we thank you for all the way you provide for us. You're our strength and our help, and we're grateful that you are. Be with us this weekend and help us to be in the middle of what you're about. And it's in Jesus' name we pray these things. Amen. Well, today our ministry spotlight is uh, is on Sean and Lisa Gallagher. If you were a part of our uh, worship services past Sunday. You had the opportunity to hear from Sean and Nisa. They're missionaries in Croatia. They've been there for 10 years, uh, mostly doing work with student ministry, but establishing relationships across those years and uh, preparing for the next stage that God has for them in their ministry. We heard from them talking about it Sunday, about the new church they're looking at launching in Croatia for international uh, members of their community. These are mostly people that have moved back uh, with a spouse or with a family from overseas uh, since the Civil War was over 30 years ago. A lot of these people have an interest in their lives being new and different, and uh, and maybe we think there's opportunity for the gospel there. So we want to ask you uh, to join with us in praying over this Croatian mission initiative. We're involved in it as a church, along with other churches uh, across our state. We're joining together to provide for this couple so that they can launch this new uh, mission work this new church in Croatia. The Southern Baptist missionaries are not there anymore. That's not where they work. They have other places where they put their resources. So this is a place where we can step in and fill the gap, and we're looking forward to doing that very thing. Um, so help me today. Uh, join me in prayer. Father, we come before you. We lift up Sean and Nisa to you and ask you to bless their family and the work that they are about to launch in Croatia. Give them the strength and the resources and the insight and the energy that they need uh, to be able to accomplish the work you want done. God, I pray that you would raise up leaders in that community to come alongside them, uh, that, God, they would uh, have all that they need in order to be successful, that you would provide for them, that your church might move forward and your kingdom advance in Croatia. And it's in Christ's name we pray this to get the uh, amen. Well, we are continuing today uh, to walk through the Lord's Prayer. And I want you to know right up front that we're going to skip a week next week. It's Thanksgiving week, and I think we need to focus our attention on some Thanksgiving prayers. And so next week, we're going to be talking about Thanksgiving. We're going to pick up the rest of this Lord's Prayer on the backside of the Thanksgiving uh, holiday. But today, maybe appropriately as we get ready for Thanksgiving week, we focus on this phrase from Jesus who said, Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. Today's phrase, Jesus is telling us about a kind of peace that comes to us when we trust in the Lord for the most basic needs of our lives. You know, Thanksgiving is richer for people who have made a practice of this way of thinking about the world all across the year that has been. Now today, I don't know what you need, but God knows what you need. He uses our needs to help us to grow, to trust him. And when we seek to meet our own needs without God's help, we short circuit what God wants to do in our lives. One of the great risks and dangers of living in the United States of America, a land that is so prosperous, is that we will more and more begin to think that we can take care of ourselves. We don't bother God. We don't come to him with our needs. We don't pray as we ought because we figured we got it handled. And I tell you what, we, uh, we, not, we lose out because sometimes what we can get for ourselves is not nearly as good as what God wants to give for us. Sometimes when we live like this, we miss out on a blessing that God wants to give because we live without seeking his blessing and looking for him to provide for us. So Jesus prays this simple prayer in the midst of this model prayer, give us this day our daily bread. Today, I would invite you to do the same. When's the last time that you prayed and said, God, today provide for me the meals that I'm gonna need. Provide for me the sleep I'm gonna need tonight. Provide for me the, the encouragement that I'm gonna need or the help that I'm gonna need. Sometimes we just don't pray these simple sort of straightforward prayers and we certainly should. Let's go back to this simple prayer that Jesus prayed, this model prayer again today. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive those who are our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the glory and the power forever. 
Amen. Amen. Well, the center is finalizing its plans to provide Thanksgiving meals to families across uh, the center, central part of Kaufman County. And if you're interested in contributing and helping, I would encourage you to reach out, reach out to Richard Dunn uh, to let him know that you're interested in making a donation or helping out at the food bank maybe during this holiday season. I know he would love to hear from you. All right, one last Lord's Prayer version. This is a group called Veritas. It's a men's group. They do a very dignified and beautiful version of the Lord's Prayer. A good thing for us to meditate on uh, before this, uh, this day gets rolling. I hope that you'll enjoy it. We'll look forward to talking to you soon.